Good morning and uh, welcome to uh, Coffee in the Word. If you've been a follower of uh, Coffee in the Word in the past, uh, you'll notice quickly that a couple of things are pretty different. Uh, you can see behind me, I'm sitting just outside our pastor's office. If you weren't already aware, uh, Daniel, Pastor Daniel passed away, went to you with the Lord, but uh, he had a really good ministry here in Coffee in the Word, and so we would like to try to keep that uh, going in some fashion. Um, you will see if this goes the way we vision it right now, several different faces over the days ahead. People from our church who uh, just feel a burden for this ministry and uh, uh, you're not going to get uh, pastoral teaching here from a bunch of laymen, but uh, what we hope to do is uh, offer a word of encouragement, a short Bible study, a few comments. Uh, we are uh, don't, clearly don't know what we're doing, but uh, we're walking by faith and not by sight. So if you have uh, suggestions or uh, comments, feel free to let us know. Uh, be nice. It is a church website. Uh, if you're... Uh, get rowdy, we'll have to moderate things. Uh, but I'm going to start today with a passage of Scripture. It's one that I think is familiar to uh, everyone, quite familiar. It's from the book of Matthew, and it's the parable of the so sower. And it's uh, Matthew 13, verses 1 through 9. And I am reading today from the New American Standard Bible. On that day, Jesus had gone out from the house and was sitting by the sea, and large crowds gathered to him. So he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd was standing on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Behold, the sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell beside the road, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on the rocky places where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up immediately because they had no depth of soil. But after the sun rose, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. Others fell among the thorns, and the thorns came up and choked them. But others fell on the good soil and yielded a crop, some a hundred, some sixty, and some thirty times as much. The one who has ears, let him hear. So that's... Uh, very familiar uh, passage of scripture. Uh, entire sermons have been preached on that. And in fact, there are a couple of books out there that have been written on that passage of scripture. There's a, a lot to unpack, and we're not going to even attempt that this morning. What I would like to do, though, is uh, focus on one very small aspect. And it's in uh, verse 3. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Behold the sower went out to sow. So, okay, it's a parable. Uh, we're to draw our own conclusions uh, from that based on the teaching. But uh, who's the sower in this case? It's each of us, the followers of Christ. And what's the seed? It's the good news. It's the gospel. And uh, uh, we could go much deeper into that, but again, I'll leave that for smarter people than me. But what I'd like to do is uh, pull up uh, three points that uh, speak to me in this passage, may speak to you something else. The point number one is simply if you don't plant seeds, you're not going to get a crop. Uh, it says, behold, the sower went out to sow. A sower is supposed to sow things, and we are sowers. We should be sowing the word of God. Um, and I think... Uh, Something we need to always be mindful of is that, uh, you know, we think we're sometimes maybe not sowing, but if you are a Christian, uh, whether you like it or not, you are sowing because uh, your non-Christian friends and co-workers, you know, especially in a small community like this where everybody knows everybody, uh, they're watching what you're doing and they're drawing conclusions from that. And... Uh, so I would argue that uh, it's really not possible to not sow seeds, but you can sow bad seeds if you're not awfully careful. All of us do inadvertently. Uh, because what we 
do is being watched. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, what you do speak so loudly, I cannot hear what you say. So we need to be, all of us, mindful of our deeds as well as our words. Uh, second point I'd like to bring out is if you uh, plant bad seed, you're going to get a bad crop. If uh, you're out there as a Christian uh, participating in unchristian-like things, uh, if you're sitting on the front pew on Sunday and uh, living like a secular person the rest of the week, uh, you're sowing bad seeds. And uh, we need to be careful of that because even if even when we're careful, we still manage to mess up once in a while. We were all imperfect. We try to do well. One of my good friends and co-workers used to say, if you do 100 or if you do 99 things right and one thing wrong, people are going to notice the thing you did wrong. So we need to be careful about planting bad seeds. And uh, the other thing is, uh, I'm talking today about mainly about deeds. We'll talk about words in a future session of this. But it's also we have to be mindful that our job is to plant good seed. Uh, we fret sometimes about uh, witness and our witness and speaking to people and what have you. But uh, our job is just to plant good seed. God will provide the increase. Don't worry about it. Just go out there and uh, plant good seed. And I'd uh, like to conclude this with uh, something from uh, the author's name is uh, Edward A. Guest. And uh, that's Guest, G-U-E-S-T. And it's, uh, I picked this up at the Con Gideon Convention a couple of years ago, and it's really stayed with me. I'd rather see a sermon than hear one any day. I'd rather one should walk with me than merely tell the way. The eye is a better pupil, more willing than the ear. Fine counsel is confusing, but example is always clear. And the best of all the preachers are the men who live their creeds. For to see a good put in action is what everybody needs. I can soon learn how to do it if you'll let me see it done. I can see your hand in action, but your tongue too fast may run. And the lectures you deliver may be very wise and true, but I'd rather get my lesson by observing what you do. For I may misunderstand you and the high advice you give, but there is no misunderstanding how you act and how you live. So uh, that was my challenge, not just to you, but to myself, to go out there every day, be mindful of our actions, because people are watching. Uh, you're a witness whether you are conscious of it or not. And uh, let's all go out there and plant some good seeds and let the Lord take care of the rest. Let's uh, end with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for your word, for your salvation, for your presence among us. We ask, Lord, that you'll help each of us to be bold in our witness and to uh, live our lives in a way that would honor and glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen.